Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we are unboxing and having a first look at the Bit Phoenix Prodigy in white. And now I know it's been out a while, but we are going to be working on something. And if you have been keeping up with the website and channel, you will be aware of this around mini ITX stuff. Uh, so uh, that is why we have the Bit Phoenix Prodigy in. Um, so yeah, let's get in and take a look at the Bit Phoenix Prodigy in the Arctic white color. So there's not really much to see on the outside. We have uh, obviously the Bit Phoenix logo and to say that it's the Prodigy. Now, most people don't really like brown cases, but I mean, it's a case like as in the packaging and it really doesn't make much difference. Um, other than that, I'll try and not get my address in here, uh, but we do have some specifications down there just to say, you know, what the internal stuff is. Uh, but we will get round to that anyway when we do the unboxing. So I'll spin it around this way so that you can see a little bit extra uh, from this side of it. So you've got uh, basically all the different angles. And it's, uh, yeah, let's, let's cut it open and it get to the actual case. So to do this, I'm going to be a bit off camera here just so that we can actually focus more on the product and, and less on me. Uh, but yeah, if you want to read a little bit about what it actually says on the end there, you can. So to start off with, we have a... Boxes in the way. Quick installation guide, so that's going to go through... Um, we also have a limited warranty. Uh, piece of paper there as well. But that's just going to go through just about everything there is about the product. Uh, if you don't really know what to do with cases then you sh probably shouldn't really be building it yourself. Uh, so let's tip this upside down and get the case out without damaging it. We have to get the handles out because what happens with these kinds of packaging. And it's on its front, so... Here we have the upside down Bit Phoenix Prodigy. And there we have it. I'll give you a good look around, like from this angle, and then I'll give you some better angles, um, or more specific angles when I show you around it again. So I'll open up the side panels. Now these these screws I haven't actually had to loosen and you can you've obviously just seen on camera I don't have to uh, loosen them with a the screwdriver because they are the ones that have kind of a plastic uh, coating on the thumb screw areas which is actually easier uh, than metal ones, plus they haven't been tightened as, um, as hard as uh, other companies do. Now I'm just going to, okay I had it caught there, I was going to pause the camera for a second, uh, but yeah, I'll get these, in fact no I won't because that's got the IO on, uh, so that's what it looks like this out so what's in here we just have some thumb screws and then um, one of them clips to clip all your little cables in as well as a USB 3 to USB 2 converter so if you don't have USB 3 on your motherboard you can just convert it to USB 2 and use those ports uh, as USB 2 ports so yeah I'll Switch the camera around and give you some better angles. So guys, now I'm, I'm around this side. Uh, so obviously you can see straight away you've got uh, five internal 
uh, three and a half inch drive bays, three of which can be removed uh, with this cage for extra um, graphics card length as well as you know basically anything else that you want to do if you just want to remove it if you're not using it. Uh, so I'll put that to one side and then you can also see that your five and a quarter inch drive bay up here you've got a standard PS2 uh, ATX uh, power supply uh, section there as well as mini ITX with two uh, expansion slots you've also got a 120mm fan in the back and it's a 120mm fan in the front although it can fit to 40mm um, radiators if you remove basically everything from the front uh, spinning it round uh, you can see that we have basically a very similar uh, feel to the front than we do on the, the top you've got your bit phoenix badge and then some ventilation around the side oh. And then bringing it round, and here's our I.O. on the side panel. This is something that uh, has become quite popular recently. I don't know if it's in focus. If it's not in focus, oh, there, there you go. Uh, so we've got two USB 3 headphone and uh, microphone jacks, as well as your activity LEDs, reset switch, and power switch. Now these clicky ones. Um, I don't know why, they seem to be quite popular with mini ITX boards, uh, mini ITX cases, sorry. Uh, but yeah, removing this side panel. We will find it two, two and a half inch um, cages there to mount two and a half inch SSDs to. And then we have what is essentially just the, the other angle of the case. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on its side and then show you the top there uh, which fits two 240mm, uh, two 120mm fans uh, which this can be removed just like that and it's yeah so that is that is it um, I'll give you a few looks around again You also have a dust filter on the bottom as well, I forgot to mention. And yeah, I'll put my face back on the tripod and I'll say goodbye. So that was the unboxing and first look at the BitPhoenix Prodigy. Now, I don't know about you, but I am already very impressed with this case. Uh, for a mini ITX case to have side panels as heavy as fourth tower cases, um, very very shocking and it gets you thinking but anyway uh, that was the unboxing and first look of the bit phoenix prodigy uh, the written review and video review of this product will be in the description box below if you want to check them out uh, those will be published uh, not too long after this video has been published uh, but also check them out as well as heading over to the Haltech TV website because there's a lot of content on that website you won't find anywhere else on the Haltech TV network other than that, I'm Hal Thompson. You've been watching another Haltech TV video. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.